So for today's video, um, I am going to do uh, an overview of my collection of Alme records by The Cult because someone requested it. So I actually, yes, I do request. Um, so I'll just get started. So now my first record technically isn't The Cult, but it is Death Cult. Now, Death Cult was Ian Asbury and Billy Duffy, and Jamie Stewart, I think, was also in the band who was in the cult as well. So this was basically three-fourths of the cult um, before they recorded their first record. Um, they uh, also, I believe, I don't think he, were, he played on this record, but Nigel Preston, who was the drummer for Dreamtime and also for She Sells Sanctuary, also played in Death Cult, but again, I'm not sure if he played on this record or not, because this was the only Death Cult record I think there was. Uh, Ian Asprey was in Southern Death Cult, um, and uh, Billy Duffy was in Theater of Hate, and then they formed Death Cult afterwards. Um, Southern Death Cult actually opened up for Theater of Hate, so maybe that's how they met. It may have been the evolution of this whole thing. So this is, um, yeah. So this is the Death Cult EP, um, and if you see on the back, you can see those titles, Brothers Grimm, uh, what was that, Horse Nation? Ghost Dance, Horse Nation, and Christians. All songs which I believe appeared on various, uh, some I think appeared on various cult albums, um, the, whether, whether it being Dreamtime or I believe the live album they did, uh, Cult Live at Elysium, I believe. Um, all of these songs, I believe, were uh, recorded at some point or another, either live or in studio, by the cult. So, so I thought this was important to include in this uh, little uh, collection. This is kind of a uh, kind of cool. This is this is a different label like that. I don't know if you can see that well, but um, this is uh, yeah. Um, Situation two. I guess this is still. Oh, that's cool. Even better. <laughs> um, yeah, this is. I guess the same label. Still Beggar's Banquet. I guess. I think so. Um, I think it's the same label that they they were with afterwards. But I'm not absolutely sure on that one. No, I can't get the record to go away. <laughs> no, that's okay. Anyway, so that was that's my earliest cult related thing. Uh, so moving on from that, we go to the first actual cult record. And that right here, Dreamtime. Now Dreamtime, you can see the back, the members, this, this, that still has plastic wrap on it. Never got removed. That's kind of neat. So you see all the song titles and the members on the back. We got Ian Asbury, Billy Duffy, Jamie, Nigel Preston and Jamie Stewart. Now I must say, this is the the vinyl there. That's just black vinyl, but that's just a that's just the uh, Beggar's Banquet uh, label there. But yeah, I must say, um, of all the Cult albums, this is my favorite drumming. Nigel Preston's drumming is, is he, he was my favorite of all the drummers, to be honest. Uh, I thought it was phenomenal. Some of the songs on here, the the uh, the drumming is just mind mind boggling to me. It's just amazing, amazing stuff. Um, yeah, unfortunately, he was only with them until uh, he recorded. I believe he recorded "She Sells Sanctuary" with them, and that was the last. And the rest of uh, the rest of "Love" was done with other um, other drummer, Les Warner, I think it was. And later on, they had. Another guy joined them. I can't remember all the names. There's been a lot of guys in the cult, so I can't remember everything. Um, a few highlights for me on this album: um, "Go West," "Spirit Walker," "Spirit Walker." It was their first single, I believe, on here. "Go West," I think, was the second one. "Bad Medicine Waltz," another great track. "Horse Nation," "Dream Time," and then the one of my favorite songs. This is, I mean, this is just an amazing, solid debut. I mean, a great, great album. Next up on the list, um, so next I'm going to go, I don't actually have a copy of Love, 
Um, that's on my list of things to get. What I do have is a uh, the single for Revolution, which was the third single, I believe, off of Love. Um, and inside we've got the nice art with a little bit of uh, writing. Um, and that is uh, basically credits. Um, this is a um, UK pressing. You can see that there. Like that. And like that. This is cool. This is kind of one of my prized possessions, to be honest. Any of the early stuff that I managed to get UK pressings of when they actually came out, especially 45s and stuff like this. It's very, very uh, valuable to me. I don't even know what, what this stuff goes for, but... Uh, oh, I still got a price tag on it. 4 dollars when I got this. So, so, yeah, it is a double two-disc um, single. Double single. There we go. The one great thing too about the cult, especially in the era of Dreamtime, Love, and Electric, was that their B-sides were as good as everything else. They could have made a second album. They could have had Love Part Two and Electric Part Two, basically, with how good and with uh, the, the mere the amount of of uh, of uh, good B-sides that they had. They would write. They would put out these double singles and stuff. So this one has like All Souls Avenue, Judith, and Sunrise. I remember She Sells Sanctuary had number 13 and a few another track, I think, on it. Um, Rain, I think, had some other ones. I mean, it would have been enough to release a second record. It could have been a double album. That's, and the songs are all awesome, amazing songs. So that's the Revolution EP. Next up, I will go to... Oh, I kind of skipped ahead. That was a mistake. I forgot about this one. This is The Cult, Live at the Lyceum. So this came out before um, I, Actually, I think this came out around the same time as uh, um, Love, but this was recorded. The concert itself was earlier, it was 84. Right. But as you can sort of tell by the logo, they kind of were getting on been on board with the uh, success of love and uh, release this um, you know I guess to hype it up and probably try to sell more copies of Dreamtime as well but uh, this was re this was released for a fairly inexpensive price as you can see on the bottom it says an album for the price of a seven inch I think it says seven inch yeah seven inch single so this is basically songs off of Dreamtime and some of the songs they did as uh, Death Cult and I think Moya which is the last track on at the end of this record I believe that was a southern death cult track so yeah this is what this looks like right there like that so this is cool very very good performance too very uh, excellent excellent live record uh, really showcasing all those great songs with that right now so now we're up to date I did revolution okay next up um, I'll start with the rest oh come on the rest of these yeah this is all the rest of it's all uh, electric related so I'll start with the first single that came off electric which was love removal machine and this again is a double 45 there's the back um, this is the inside of it, right there. And also, this is also a uh, UK pressing. There's that. Take a good look at that one. Like that. Pretty nice label. That is. That's the B side, Wolf Child's Blues, um, which is an awesome song. And uh, that's a love removal machine. Um, so again, this is something I'm very happy to have, um, another UK pressing. Then you've got, uh, the rest is, uh, this side has Conquistador, and then you have Groove Company, right there. These are all phenomenal songs, by the way. 
Okay. I'm really struggling with these records right now. Okay. What's that? Now, I'll show off. There's actually, I also have the 12 inch version of that. So, this is, although this is a Canadian pressing, I believe, but this is again, this is a 12 inch of it. And there's the back. Same thing, I mean, and the inside looks the same as the other one, right? The main difference being, of course, that it's on that label in Vertigo, Beggar's Banquet Vertigo. Um, and the main difference from um, the single version is that there's an extended version here. So all the same stuff as the other one, except for one more track, which was the extended version of Love Removal Machine. So that is cool. So moving on from there, we have the actual album electric right here. Pretty cool. This was a departure from the love stuff they were doing because that had more of a psychedelic uh, 60s sound. Still hard rock, but you know. Whereas this was more 70s hard rock, ACDC or something. That type of stuff, riff heavy stuff. Um, is the inside here you got your gate lots of pictures in there probably more than you can even uh, see clearly um, uh, and we've got the inner sleeve like that now this again I believe is a Canadian pressing or US pressing right there I can back that up a bit like that. and then and you can see this is the label so it's the same as the uh, 12 inches not UK but still pretty nice certainly sounds good and my final record so far that I have of this band not my final sorry second to last we're getting there but not quite this is Little Devil the 12 inch this is a double 12 inch um, this is the back with all the song titles I see quite a bit of stuff on here if you look at it um, I'll, first I'll show you the inner this is cool look at that eh you just put that on the wall as a poster <laughs> that'd be awesome um, so this has the song Little Devil Zap City they the live version of Wild Thing Louie Louie uh, Phoenix live uh, and then they have an interview with the cult at the bottom there. So um, this is kind of neat, actually. This is um, this has got a little kind of order form stamp or something on there. I'm not sure about that part. It's kind of neat. You know, but as you can see, this is looks like a U.S. or a Canadian pressing. But. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure about it. It has uh, some dates on it and it says cancelled, so I'm not sure what it, if uh, this was ordered by a record store way back and they stamped on the on the sleeve or something. I'm not sure. But it certainly makes it interesting. Um, and then this side is just this same thing, right? Right there. Okay, I'm gonna put this away. See if this is I can actually put this in the sleeve. Yes. Success. Finally, we have the third single off of Electric, and that is Wildflower. They had some amazing covers for their singles. And the record, that's all, the artwork was awesome on all these. And there's the back there. Um, inside, another cool picture, Ian Asbury. Pretty cool. And we've got, anyway, this is the similar uh, label as the other ones with the heart, the flower in the middle and stuff. Um, and this single, is got wildflower backed with love trooper that's the first and the second side is outlaw and horse nation which i believe was be a live uh, 
live version. So anyway, that's it for that. That is my collection of cult records. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, uh, if you like this kind of thing, please like and subscribe. I usually do a couple of videos a week. Uh, I hope uh, everyone's having a good week. Um, and I will see everyone again next time.